um, a tour of the outside and inside of our camper. I know when we were thinking about going full time, that was some of our favorite videos to watch, just Absolutely. to give an idea. Um, not only what the campers looked like, but also how they fit everything. <laughs> it kind of reassured us that families of six, eight, and nine could fit into a camper with all their stuff that we could. Um, so we wanted to also do a tour of ours. And we want to be transparent. Um, there are a lot of things we like about our camper. There's also a lot of things that we don't like. Um, things that have already broken in the six weeks we've had it. Um, also, some things that really excited us when we were buying and now we're realizing aren't so important. Yeah. Um, and then what we wish we would have known that would be important. So we want to just be completely transparent. So you'll hear good and bad. I don't want it to sound like we don't appreciate this camper or what it's given us. Um, one of the things we heard was just get what you can to get you on the road at the time. It was a good price. It's Jayco. It's a quality brand name. Um, and we like the layout. So it did yeah. the job for us. But like I said, we want to be transparent. So if you want to talk a little bit about the model. And yeah, it's a uh, Jayco J Flight SLX 8. And it's a 284 BHS. 2019. Yeah, it's a 2019. Um, great structural quality, two year warranty, uh, and everything two year warranty. The issue we've had, you know, we haven't had the shakeouts that people talk about where cabinets fall off the door. Those are all solid. Everything structurally is solid. Water heater went out like a weekend. Our thermostat's out. Um, the cable, they just never hooked up. <laughs> like it just, it comes in. I mean, you know, not every campground we've been to has them, but it'd be the ones we do when it's raining or when it would be nice. But it comes into the camper and then the signal stops. Yeah. So and it doesn't get to any outlets. And we know it's that because when we were at Ocean Lakes, yeah, we they, kept calling them out saying our cable's yeah. not working. And they actually tested it to show yeah. that the signal was working on the outside, but it wasn't coming on the inside. Yeah, you know, um, our couch isn't real sturdy. There's no middle brace in it. They cut corners in our bed. They, um, It's just a real thin piece of like Louis and plywood that goes through and a couple one-by-ones. Like there's no... N nothing that goes across the middle that were to hold that support so uh, we've actually had to place uh, bottle jacks in it just to keep it up because until I can get a permanent solution whereas most of the pass-throughs have a wall this doesn't have a wall which is great for storage but you lose that middle support so um, it's just those little things like that but as far as the camper itself the travel trailer no leaks nothing falling off the walls nothing breaking per se like that structural just those few things. No Our block, issues with tires. No, no issues with tires. They put Goodyear tires on it, which I can't, I mean, you can't say enough about Goodyear tires. Um, our gray and black tanks, electrical is switched. So when you push the button for gray, you're really checking your black. When you push a button for black, it's really checking your gray. So it's just, they're reversed. So that's always a fun conversation. Yeah. He'll check in, he'll say our black's full, and I'll be like, well, that doesn't make sense. We've only been here a day. We can get a week. And he's like, no, I mean our gray. <laughs> yeah, I mean our gray because, you know, with four people showering, yeah. you know, it only has a 38 gallon fill up, or uh, 38 gallon gray tank, black tank, and fresh water. So I, I really wish we had bigger gray tanks that we're seeing now that we could go longer if we had more gray because our black tank, we can go a week basically. But you're gray with four people showering, even conserving water and dishes and things like that. You're still only going to get two days out of it tops, you know, especially if you're doing showers and things after the beach or whatever. So, you know, it's it's a good trailer. It's structurally solid. It's just their finishes and they didn't really check anything, you know, the electrical and all that. And uh, we haven't been real help, you know, helped by our dealer that we bought it from. You know, we told them when we first went in, like, hey, when we went to pick up the title, like, hey, man, our black tank. And they said, oh, just put some duct tape on it and we'll get it later. No, 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 no. Just relabel it. Relabel it? Come on now. We, we paid a lot of money for this trailer, so we want it to be functional and working properly when we get it. So, and like I said, maybe we should have checked that yeah. at but the also, dealer. But also, another point that all most of this will be covered under warranty. Absolutely. But It'll all be warranty work. If you live full-time in a trailer, you know that's also not very easy. You need to take it in generally for them to evaluate what pieces they need, what parts they need, yeah. um, and then Ooh. take it back in for them to actually do it. Well, this is our home. Yeah. So um, we've struggled a lot with we want to get this stuff fixed. We know it'll be covered when we get it fixed, but yeah. when and how do we get it fixed? So yeah. I don't want it to sound like they wouldn't do their part they did yeah. get the water heater fixed right away covered under warranty absolutely um, and that was, that was like a two minute fix thanks to camping world, camping Myrtle, world beach. Myrtle beach yeah but um so i mean yes there's a lot 
that we're not extremely happy about that we feel like could have been a better quality um, and we plan to get that addressed but it's just finding the right time it's hard when you live in it so yeah we hope you enjoy the tour on the inside and the outside and thanks for tuning in so here we are on the outside of the travel trailer uh we'll start here in the back refrigerator which is awesome you know we put drinks in there for the kids so when they're thirsty they don't have to go trouncing in the house this is the outdoor stove we don't use it we probably won't we just use our grill i mean there's really not really a big use for it i guess maybe at some point we will but right now i just use it kind of as a tabletop works well for me and one of the things i do absolutely love is the sink and it is plumbed hot and cold you wash your hands when you touch meat whatever you know outside uh, if the boys were playing whatever hand sanitizer for the kids as well that way they can just hit a squirt of that and go move on we have our shelving up there that's got the utensils it's got the a little propane tank i've got stored right there currently just because we've been grilling different things for the outdoor so speaker and the awning we have our awning here which has an led light at the top and side which is nice um like i said the speakers on this end and that end which is good brooke found this i can't remember if amazon or walmart i believe it was walmart yeah i'm pretty sure it's walmart but drying rack for our towels uh, Corbin's armies if we put them there swim trunks whatever it is we can put here dries in the sun we can move it follow the sun if we need to dry quicker but we do a lot of swimming a lot of beach so we, that was a big big deal for us and it works well plastic table it folds it slides in the truck real easy her fancy little pretty tablecloth that's kind of what she does <clears throat> fresh water cable right here for cable satellite TV which we've watched many of Buckeye games out here. It just pops in the bedroom, hangs right here. Outlets. It's nice. One thing that drives me crazy is our fresh water is right here. The water source for the city connections on the other side. You know, your most of your poles and towers are on the, that side of the camper on the non-camping side. So I've got to run a hose from the back side to here to fill it up to put it back. I, I really wish it was on the other side. Um, when we bought the camper, it has those real wobbly stairs um, I asked them to throw this in and they did at their cost not ours we didn't pay for them so it's the more ride step above stairs here so they're they're just they're sturdy so with between us and the boys it's nice they flip up into the camper so you don't you know when you travel it just it's an easy little pull up stop chewy <laughs> dog right there uh, ignore all this good stuff then we have, like I said, speakers on this side here, another one here. So there's one on each side, which is nice. Uh, here is our under storage, which it just kind of latches there. Um, it's very big. It goes all the way back. It fits a tote, which is nice, so we can put stuff in it. Um, I like that. It goes up, has a front up there. It goes all the way through, you know, which we'll talk more about that. You'll see that when we discuss the inside about that part of it. But it goes all the way through hookups for the weight distribution which we also had them pay for that they gave us the e2 weight distribution hitch at, at cost their cost not ours so that's it 20 pound propane tanks this is the other side of the pass through so you see this on this side i typically keep this is where i have our fresh water by my toolbox most of the stuff for the camper i keep on the non-camp side that way it's easily accessible when we're hitching and unhitching everything's on one side the other side we do the boys outside toys things like that stabilizer jacks in the floor corner these are not electric it's not really that serious to me um, it's easy go up and down i don't mind it so i'm not real worried about it. it's just that's another thing to break because there's been a few things to break not a power tongue jack it's all manual which is fine a little extra work not a big deal our slide nothing fancy on this side we have this is where all our hookups are fresh water hookup we have an outdoor shower hot <laughs> cold you know, so that has come in handy city water yeah city water down there sorry but this is coming handy when we come back from the beach we can spray feed off all that good stuff you know the, the black tank as the boys call it is that where all the poopy is yes son so that's there 
another stabilizer. Some people take those caps off, we don't mess with it. Wired for backup camera, which we haven't done. I don't really think I will probably do it. Brooke comes out, she navigates and makes sure I don't hit anything when we're backing up, kind of give us get reference and gauges and stuff. And she does pretty good with it, so we probably won't mess with that. Little spare tire, electric outlet. This is a 30 foot power cord that's already attached in there. So we always, always have one that's attached. We don't have to take it up. It just puts it in and spools up and kind of nice. Don't have to plug anything in, unplug anything. Bike rack we bought at Walmart. I think it was like a hundred bucks. Four bikes for the boys. So, you know, that's, that's pretty much everything for the outside. So there it is. Okay, so this is the tour of the inside. Um, I'm going to try to do this quickly, but there's a lot to show. So first thing when you walk in, we had these hooks. These were already installed, so that's nice. They're nice and sturdy um, to hold our just our jackets, the book bag, anything we may need. Added this. It's a command hook. You'll see I have lots of command hooks. Good for keys, just extra places to make sure things are always where they belong. Um, over here, we typically have Chewy's leash hanging from there and we hang our broom so we always have a broom just to you know you get creative <laughs> on where to put stuff so then moving forward we have our pantry um pretty good size i mean we are a family of four so we always have a good stock of food but this is a pretty good size um one thing that's been a lifesaver is these shelf extenders so i found these on amazon and if you go to fighttogethere.com you'll see i have a link to everything i'm going to show that we added um, but these have been great. They extend even longer, but it just kind of allows us, it's a really big hole, so it allows us to separate things more in stacks. So this is our pantry. And then down below, I also use those extenders because this was one open shelf. So down there we keep, you know, just Tupperware, bowls, grocery bags, crock pot, um, not a lot of options for that. Our pots and pans, our bag we carry when we go places for the EpiPen. So just more storage. And then you also see we can fit shoes down there. So we keep the majority of our shoes outside in a tote, except for Chuck, who doesn't think he should follow that rule. But our shoes fit nicely under there, so that is nice. And then here we have open shelving, um, vacuum, our Bibles and books we use, Chuck's flashlight and level he keeps out of his toolbox because we use these quite a bit when we're setting up and tearing down, um, Cooper's books, some extra paper towels. So then moving over, we have our dinette. Um, I am going to eat crow. I really wanted the U-Dinette. I felt like it was just going to give us the most amount of space. It was pretty. It had lots of storage. Hate the U-Dinette. Um, some people may like it. For us, it's kind of a nuisance. It's really long, so it takes up a lot of room, cuts into how much couch space we can have. Also, it's a pain to get in and out. The boys are on the inside, and they're four and six, and even they complain. Um, it's just narrow. You have to scoot. Everybody has to move to get out. So not super convenient, but there is storage. So if you lift up these cushions, all three of these have storage. You can lift up underneath. Um, we just keep games, like it's stuff we don't need every day, but that we want to keep with us. So the storage is nice. Step over our dog who's being himself comfortable. So then we'll move to the love seat area. Um, we did like that this love seat wasn't leather. Most of the RVs we looked at was le were leather, but we didn't want leather. Um, it's also a jackknife, so we were excited for the storage. And it does give you nice storage, as you see. Um, we're able to keep some of the boys' toys, their sleeping bags, the space heater, and I mean, there's even room back behind. So it's a good amount of storage. What we don't like, very short, so we're a family of four. Um, two people can sit on it max. Also, because it's a jackknife, it's not comfortable. Um, the back, if you're leaning against the back, it feels like you're sitting on the hinge. Um, also, when you laid out, that hinge is right in the middle, so not super comfortable. Also, not very durable. Because of the jackknife, there's really no middle support. Um, so don't love that, but it looks well and it does provide a storage. And then up here, we have some cubbies, we just keep DVDs, some more toys. We've got toys everywhere. We can fit them throughout the camper. Um, some of the boys, you know, their DS's, boards, our good sandbook, our atlas, all that kind of goodies that we just need a place to keep. And these are nice. They don't slam down and they stay up so you don't have to worry about them hitting you. So one thing I'll point out is that all of our lights you can turn on one by one or there's a switch to turn them all on. So that's kind of nice. You can pick how much lighting you want. And then moving over to the bathroom. 
So if we're being honest, this bathroom is probably why we purchased this camper. Um, most of the showers you look at are pretty narrow, not a lot of room to move around. I'll show you, this is a really big square shower. So um, we really like that. And there's a little bit of room to move around in this. So right here, I'll show you. Here is our shower. So nothing fancy, but definitely good room to like I said, kind of maneuver and roll around. You're not hitting the walls or the curtain when you need to turn around. And it's got nice light with a skylight. So it's definitely a feature we liked. And we did change out the shower curtain to let it a more light, and that's been nice. Um, this area was a little bit of a deterrent. We had to figure out how to come up with storage since it did not have a medicine cabinet. They said we could add one, but just made us nervous um, adding to it something that would be pretty heavy. So we did command hooks and baskets, you know, hair and makeup goodies, our deodorant Q-tips, stuff that you would typically keep in a medicine cabinet we have out here now. Uh, we found this on Amazon. Well, we Chuck found this on Amazon, and this has been great. So each boy has their own color cup and a place to put their toothbrush, which is super important with Corby with food allergies. We don't want to worry about cross contamination. And it's also good storage. Keeps them kind of covered too, which we liked. And then underneath here, we have more storage. Also an Amazon purchase. So this is great. It actually extends out even further if you need it to. And these panels are removable. So if your piping went down low and you needed to create a gap, you could. So that's where we store our extra bathroom goodies. Okay. Now moving to the boys. This is their rooms as they call them. Um, and they are rooms when they get a timeout. But so we have Cooper up top and Corbin on the bottom. So one thing we liked about this is the full over full. Um, they're pretty big boys. Cooper's super tall for his age, so we wanted them to really have room to stretch out and have their own space. So it's where they keep their blankets, their stuffed animals. Um, it's nice because even though it's in the living room, it's pretty tucked back. So they can sleep in here and Chuck and I watch TV and they just sort of shut the curtains and they don't seem to have a problem. They're also tired, we're at a campground. But um, it's been good. So this is their bed. And then underneath Corby's, you can lift it up, and there's additional storage. It's probably about four feet long by two wide, um, so it allows us to fit two totes of extra toys. And then we have storage for their clothes. So here's a little bit of hang-up clothes. We have underwear and socks in these drawers, some extra towels for the bathroom. Also our shower to-go bag. So kind of a good closet to keep all that miscellaneous stuff. And then we have all of these storage compartments. So these are super nice. They're real deep. It's kind of hard to tell, but these do go back pretty far. They would be great for kitchen utensils, but we have to use them for kids' clothing. So we bought these totes. You know, it has shirts, shorts. Yeah, there's a quality piece for you. But <laughs> shirts, shorts, pants. Um, so a place to keep all their clothes. Chewy's toys, my scarves. So... And then this TV did come with it. It's nice. It pulls out and goes in and it swivels. Also, you lock it into place when you travel so we don't have to take it down or worry about strapping it in. Um, our stereo command system. Then up here, more storage. This one kind of we just have totes with medicine supplies, an extra EpiPen, nail polish, just kind of all that miscellaneous stuff. Up here, we have our folder of paperwork and more totes pins, extra extension cords, all those kinds of goodies. Okay. And then moving on, we have our fridge and freezer. So not very roomy, pretty standard for a travel trailer. Um, but we missed our standard size home fridge. Um, so pretty small, but it does the job. We've found that we grocery shop versus every week when we lived at home. Now it's more like three, three days just because we don't have as much room to keep it all. So it is nice, it's auto, switches from propane to electric automatically when we're traveling, so it stays cold at all times. And then we move into the kitchen. So, oh, this kitchen. Um, not a lot of counter space. I didn't think that was that important because I'm not a huge cook, I'm not making these crazy fancy meals. I miss counter space. So our stove did not come. It's just a standard three burner stove and it did not come with a cover. So I added this from Amazon. And even though it doesn't seem that big, this has been a lifesaver because when you're only working with the space to get this extra foot or two, huge help. Um, and this is also serves as a cutting board if you wanted to. So that's been a nice add. I burnt garlic bread the first time we used this oven and haven't used it since. I haven't mastered the camping oven. Um, so it's kind of <laughs> providing more storage for us now. So I just got some pans. And then up here we have 
our dishes and paper products. So we don't have a lot. We have eight cups, eight bowls, eight plates, and then some water bottles and um, some coffee mugs and our paper products. So those all go up there. Oh, and our friends the Weinheimers have these and bought us some when we got our camper. So these are great for spices. They're magnets. They don't fall off when we travel and we keep all our spices. So good place to keep it. And then we have our sink area we were able to find so a lot of the camper sinks will come with the cover um, to give you that counter space or some kind of drying rack ours did it we found this one at walmart and it does collapse and expand and it fits perfectly so that's also been a huge help and under here we just have our trash can and then here's you know silverware and kitchen gadgets so it functions it gives us what we need but not a lot of extra space so then moving into the bedroom, so this is our bedroom, <laughs> the whole bedroom. Um, it's a short queen. We didn't think that would be an issue. It is a big issue. Um, it's 75 feet versus long versus the standard 80. I'm not 75 inches tall. I said feet, inches. I'm not 75 inches tall, but still somehow my feet managed to hang off and Chuck manages to hit him when he walks by. So um, not a big fan. We also need to upgrade our mattress, but you get the idea. So over here, we have clothing storage. This is our hanging rack. Uh, we bought these felt hangers, which are great. They're super thin profile and your shirts and clothes don't slip off them when you travel. So Chuck keeps his shirts there. And then up here we keep, you know, underwear, socks, bras, all that kind of miscellaneous stuff since we don't have drawers. And then on that side, Chuck will show you, that's where most of my clothes are. So um, it's just three shelves, keep everything folded. It does go back pretty deep, so a lot of that is two piles deep. And then yeah, jewelry box, fan, kind of like a little nightstand table on each side of us. Um, it didn't come with the TV, but there was a brack and already mounted, so we just got the TV to add to it, and that's the TV we also take outside. So the bracket that it is in here is the same one it is out there. So literally, he just lifts it and carries it, and it goes right on. So that is a really nice feature. We don't have to worry about the mounting system. And then underneath the bed, you will see the storage. So Chuck mentioned this outside, and um, this was something that really excited us because we could get to everything, so we could get to pass-through storage as well as under the bed storage. Uh, it turns out that's not a good thing. As you can see, there's no middle support for the bed. I mean, this is it. This and this, you know, real thin, cheap plywood. Um, I'm gonna try to show you. So not a lot of support. I'd say two days into this, we felt like we were already sagging, even if it was just the boys. I mean, it just isn't very sturdy. So you'll see we bought bottle jack stands to help support us. And those have helped. They do the job, but um, kind of crazy that we even have to do that. So we may look for a more permanent solution down the road, but so far it's worked. So, and you just push this down when you're done. And then lastly, I'll point out, so this is kind of our control area so um as we mentioned this is where you can see our cross tank so if i hit black that's our gray if i hit gray that's our black but we know so this is our heater for the water heater um the pump if we were using our fresh water tank um one's the led switch outside the inside light switch if we want to turn them all on at once this is our slide control and then our awning control so um it's kind of nice they're tucked away and out of the way and everything's right there together okay that's the whole inside. So that's the conclusion of our tour. Uh, I hope it's helpful if you're looking at campers. Um, I hope you saw that we were trying to be transparent so you'll know maybe what to look for that we didn't know. Um, I know I've mentioned in my blog that we had a new favorite camper depending on the day and depending on the location we were at. Yeah. Um, but now going back, we're like, oh, you know, this that one we looked at at this location would have fixed this problem. And you know, one thing we've always heard is the 80-20 rule and I, 100% believe that um, it's hard to find a camper that's going to check all your boxes so yeah. be happy if you hit about 80 and you know in some ways there's things about this one that we would miss if we were in one of those other ones the shower size yeah. for example yeah. um, but you know I don't think you really know what's important and what you want in a camper until you live in it so it took us about two weeks and ours to realize what we would have done different yeah. um, so that's what we wanted to be transparent just to give you all if you're looking or if you're going through the same thing just to kind of provide visibility to that yeah yeah i agree you know been a good camper you're always going to find stuff you want to change want to fix but we got what we needed to get us going and here we are we've been in it now six weeks yeah six weeks six weeks we got another week and a half before we go back for christmas but i mean there's 
we've enjoyed it. It's done us well and it's done what it's needed to do. And so yeah. overall, we're satisfied with it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button below. Visit our website, fought2gethere.com. Check us out on Instagram. And, and if you have any questions, feel free to post them below and we'll get back to you. Any questions about this model or where we got anything or suggestions? Yeah. <laughs> we would happily take suggestions yeah. Oh, yeah. on um, storage or functionality. Mm -hmm. so. Any tips, anything like that, you know, we'll be more than happy.